You know, as long as I've known Doug, ever since he lost his money, I just like, it's really crazy to see what happened to him. Sir, so, sir, what got you into bowling? Well, after my unfortunate loss, I realized that I had to play this stupid sport. <laughs> you know, Doug, I think, went insane, you know. He had such low bowling scores, but it was the only thing going for him, man. So, sir, why did you get here in the first place? Well, I was here by a complete accident. I was not, I did not attend to get to the bowling alley. I was trying to get to the cricket court, and then I lost my money, and then now I'm here. Oh, okay, sir, calm down. It's just the interview. I know. No, stop. Turn the cameras off. You know, Doug just, like, really honestly had nothing going for him, man. He sucked at all the arcade games. He was just... Weak, he got so little tickets, he ran away one day, and never to be seen again. It's really unfortunate to see what happened to my friend Doug. You know, for a second he was really rich, and then he went off the deep end, and he lost his way, and he lived at the arcade, he ate hush puppies at the tables, and disgusting things that were there, and played at the arcade for hours on end. One time... I remember, I seemed to recall that his retinas were completely shot because he had been playing that stupid ball drop game when you have to drop 50 balls in the spinny coops, hoops things. You know, it was really unfortunate. He went insane, but the last thing he told me is that you should always carry a map because you'll never know if you might go bowling or not.